China has opened two new new research outposts in the West Philippine Sea, on artificial islands that used to be submerged reefs and are claimed as territory by the Philippines. The Integrated Research Center for Islands and Reefs of the Chinese Academy of Sciences CAS, officially launched research centers on Zamora, Sabite, Reef and Kajitingan, Fiery Cross, Reef, according to a report by the Chinese state-run Xinhua News Agency on March 20. The Yangshu Research Station and Zubai Research Station, with the number of laboratories on ecology, geology and environments, can support scientists in field investigation, sampling and scientific research on Nenshaw Islands, according to a source of the CASP, the Xinhua report stated. Yangshu refers to Kajitingan Reef, and Zubai, to Zamora Reef. Nenshaw Islands is China's term for the Spratly group of islands, which includes the Philippine Claim Coven Island Group, KIG. A Triangle of Outposts According to the Xinhua report, the research outpost on Kajitingan Reef has built several real-time monitoring systems for coral reef ecosystem, vegetation ecology, and freshwater conservation, while the one on Zamora Reef has completed the project design of monitoring systems for geological disaster and freshwater conservation. The two new stations complement the Kast Meiji Research Center built earlier on Panganiban, Mischief, Reef, which China calls Meiji. Together, the three outposts have formed an integrated scientific research base for China, the report said. Zamora Reef lies less than 26 kilometers away from Pag ASA, the two island, the Philippines' main outpost in the Kig inhabited by some 250 people, mostly civilians. The new research outposts on these militarized artificial islands will help Chinese oceanographers' observation and experimental capabilities on ecology, geology, environments, materials and marine energy utilization in the tropical marine environment, the report said. The facilities will be further optimized as China plans to focus on research areas in the fields of ocean acidification, microplastic pollution, coral reef ecosystem conservation and marine disaster treatment, the report added. The July 12, 2016 ruling by the United Nations-backed Arbitral Tribunal in The Hague stated that China's large-scale land reclamation in the West Philippine Sea has caused severe harm to the coral reef environment and violated its obligation to preserve and protect fragile ecosystems. The same ruling debunked China's spurious 9 dash line claim that eats up most of the West Philippine Sea, and affirmed the Philippines' sovereign rights in its seas. The two new stations, together with the previously established Meiji Research Center, have formed an integrated scientific research base on coral reef and deep sea, said the CAS source. Vast Resources On March 2, the Armed Forces of the Philippines' Western Command based in Palawan reported that 136 Chinese vessels were spotted around Pagay Asa Island in January and February. The sightings were part of a now nearly year-long deployment of seemingly fishing boats to waters surrounding the Philippine-held island. Experts and Philippine defense officials suspect the vessels to be Chinese militias, a paramilitary force asserting China's presence in the contested area. National Security Adviser Hermagen Zasparong Jr. said the vessels were likely to remain in the vicinity of Pagay Asay Island because of its proximity to Zamora Reef, which he believes may serve as a harbor for the Chinese vessels. China's growing presence and control in the West Philippine Sea comes even as the Philippine government downplayed the Hague Arbitral Award in the hope of soothing China into stepping back from the contested waters. The Philippines has agreed to bilateral talks to settle the dispute with China, and teams of diplomats from both countries meet roughly twice a year to begin what is expected to be a long drawn-out negotiation. The two countries have also begun the process of jointly exploring and exploiting Recto Bank in the West Philippine Sea off Palawan. Based on scientific estimates, the South China Sea may hold up to 130 billion barrels of oil and 900 billion cubic feet of natural gas in its seabed, believed to be concentrated in the area of Recto Bank. Meanwhile, Filipino artisanal fishermen have lost as much as 80% in the volume of their catch ever since Chinese vessels have forced them out of their traditional fishing grounds in the West Philippine Sea.